After this round-the-world flight, Miss Earhart, are you going to give up long-distance flying? Not while there's still life left in me. It's always ready for a new adventure. Why does she have her own avatar? She is. Yeah. Can I say, yeah, I, 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 Amelia lived her life the way she wanted to live it. She, you know, made no apologies for saying, this is my life and this is how I see it and this is how I want it to be done. And um, I think that in 2009, that's really rare, especially for women. I think it's more, um, you know, it's a more male-centric world and I think that a lot of male, they, they're, they're able to have the life that they envision for themselves, but women not, not as much, even in 2009. So when we're talking about somebody who lived in the 20s when women just got the right to vote, um, and 30s, you know, it's, it's incredible. Um, and so it, it, it's obviously a period piece, yet it, it even transcends what we even know now. So every time I get on a plane, I think, my God, if it weren't for Amelia and those guys and those folks, they, they wouldn't, you know, really, the, the commerciality, the commonplaceness of aviation wouldn't be the same as it is today. Now, do you think uh, the passion that you convey in your film uh, might kind of uh, reignite uh, the aviation industry today? Maybe this will inspire uh, young young pilots who might want to get into the field? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, certainly it's a real uh, flag for aviation, uh, our film, Amelia, because we shoot in real planes in real places. It's not a computer fest. It's a real visceral uh, feeling of actually flying. But uh, I think that it will, it should really bring back the romance and bring back the heroism, actually, of early aviation and, and life before aviation became commonplace. You had just mentioned you didn't use a lot of CGI. Yes. And, uh, and we have, of course, a great computer special effects team uh, who did an amazing job in night flying and all of those things, but still we use the real things in the real places. And I think that's a whole other quality of, of you know, excitement that most people are deprived of in the cinema today. And that's not Amelia. I think her story was overshadowed because uh, people became more interested in her death, the mystery of her death, than in how she lived. And uh, I kept running into that, actually, when I was uh, interviewing people and talking about her, probably in the near future, given our technology, that, that the plane will be found, that it is at the bottom of the ocean. The ocean is 17,000 feet deep in that area. And I think people will appreciate her life when her plane is found more than be just mesmerized by her, by her mystery death. Miss Amelia Earhart. Why? Do you want to fly? I want to be free. You only have one life, and it's so short, and Amelia's was certainly short, and she accomplished a lot in her lifetime, more than most people really do, I think, in, in, in a really long life. Um, but it was just a reminder, you know, that you have to constantly kind of look within and continue to live the life that you know you want to live for yourself.